Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to obtain this kind of surface that uh, is uh, a very wavy surface on the left and uh, uh, it goes to be very straight on the right. Um, it basically works with two attractor point and uh, this after is obtained um, by the position of the uh, two actuator point that are uh, on the right part and are uh, symmetric one with the other in relationship with the canvas so let's see how, how uh, I obtain this uh, kind of surface so I sh switch to shaded view and uh, um, first of all I draw this uh, camba here uh, that is a simple rectangle and I uh, import it in Grassoup so in a core mm, container we uh, do set one core and select the rectangle then we create a boundary surface in order to close mm, this gap with a surface and, uh, and now we are going to subdivide the surface and uh, I use uh, this slider that I set to 98 to um, to set to indicate the number of uh, in division in uh, u direction and uh, in into v direction now I obtained a um, surface where uh, is um, located a grid of point and the goal of this uh, tutorial is uh, to find um, another grid of point starting from the the first one and um, it will be uh, and we do it starting from the the previous grid and moving it moving each point of a um, um, particular amount and uh, the problem is to to know this amount of translation so let's see how, uh, how I uh, reach this uh, set of number here that we insert inside the t input of uh, move common so we say that uh, we use two actuator point so the first is uh, this one and the second is this one first of all I'm going to import this point so we create a point container and uh, I use set one point to uh, select the first point then I'm going to create a line between uh, each point of the grid with uh, my actuator point this is the result and then I'm going to evaluate the length of each uh, each one of these lines. So we have uh, 9000 um, curve length. Then I use a boundary common to evaluate the, um, the uh, domain that encompasses all um, the number uh, of the coming from curve length. And I use flatten into the input of uh, bonds common and then I'm going to remap uh, all the values of uh, length um, inside from a starting domain that is, comes from the bounds uh, to a target domain that is uh, uh, the standard domain of grasshoppers from uh, that uh, is uh, from 0 to 1 and uh, I use this target domain because uh, it's very easy to enter with this target domain into the graph mapper component then I apply a graph mapper component that uh, uh, is basically a normal sign, compo sign component and, uh, um, and I do the same passages with the second attractor point so I import the, the, first, the second attractor point set one point and I select the, the point here, then I, I go. Uh, I create uh, each line from 
a line from each point of the grid to the attractor point then I evaluate the length of these lines then I evaluate the boundary um, uh, domain that encompasses all the values uh, from the length and then I remap these values in order to uh, remap them inside a target from 0 to 1 now uh, I uh, just like before I create a graph mapper sync graph mapper here and um, and um, now that I have all the result from coming from the graph mapper uh, I'm going to sum them to addition them um, using a simple mathematical addition here and then I flatten the results uh, and uh, I remap the values um, another time inside another uh, target domain and uh, this target domain is, this time is uh, a domain that is uh, uh, from 0 to 90 uh, this domain is defined here and um, uh, I, uh, I select the, um, the bigger values of the domain uh, simple uh, with a slider so this is the thickness of the material in which I, I will go into mill the uh, the surface so I'm going to remap this value from uh, in inside this, this uh, domain and so uh, the exercise is almost finished because uh, I uh, apply this uh, amplitude to a Z vector I say move these points this these points coming from the device surface of uh, an amount coming from this remap and move them in all, all of them in Z direction the only difference is the amplitude of the movement okay these are the um, movement point and now I can uh, with using this command that is very interesting is coming from flexibility plugin that you can uh, download from um, food for Rhino uh, is surface from point to UV and you can easily create a surface starting from a grid earlier grid of point and then uh, I just I only apply a preview simple preview in which I applied a um, metal material here coming from uh, Rhino because I previous uh, defin uh, I previous selected the material inside a layer of uh, of Rhino so now we switch to renderize view and uh, we see we can see that um, the surface is not static but depends on both the graph mapper I uh, created and so you can achieve uh, infinite combination of, uh, of surface and uh, and uh, you can also move the points wherever you want and you obtain different effect if you want the line to be very straight uh, you should um, move the point away from the from the core and uh, in a symmetrical way so you can use a line to help you on this for example I say I use uh, 500 no, it's not enough 5000 ok in this direction and then I create a line of 5000 in the opposite direction okay and uh, if I move the control point to the final position here and to the and the second control point to the final position here I obtain a straight line very straight line at the beginning and a um, very curvy line at the end if you bake this you obtain um, only one surface so this is very inter interesting because uh, also for fabrication it's very very interesting uh, if you check it you have a surface here so it's a very very 
um, perfect surface that you can use for example for a panel um, for a decorative panel that you can easily mill with a also I think with a three axis um, mill machine CNC mill machine hope you like the video um, see you in the next one and thank you for watching have a nice day